What's going on today, YouTube? Kawaii50 here with another banner breakdown. This one for Ark Knights and the new banner coming out, the Lungman Spec Operators Headhunting Banner. This banner has on raid up Meteorite, Liskarm, and Hoshiguma. Now, a little bit of a disclaimer here. In Ark Knights, you always want to do at least 10 rolls on every single banner because you are guaranteed a 5 or 6 star operator. But what we're going to address on these banner breakdowns for Ark Knights specifically is should you go beyond that if you don't get any of these specific characters on rate up? If you just get a random operator that's kind of showed up at your door like, hey, I'm all you get. But let's go ahead and talk about the three featured operators on this banner and see if any of them are worth the pull. And one more thing, if you are unfamiliar how rate up works, Rate up in Ark Knights is that you get an extra 50% chance to get the specific featured operator when pulling an operator of that rarity. So for Meteorite and Liskarm who are 5 stars, you've got an extra 50% chance to pull them if you roll a 5 star. And for Hoshiguma, the same, but if you roll a 6 star. Little bit of trivia there. Alright, let's start talking about our first defender operator who is on this banner, and that is Liskarm. Liskarm, with her fancy little handgun, is completely designed to block enemies and to make sure nothing gets through your line. Liskarm is able to block up to three enemies and has a deployment cost of 18, so a little bit on the high side, but that's what your vanguards are for, right? Liskarm's very first skill, Charge Defense, is going to give her an ability to block the next source of damage for 8 seconds between an extra... 40% defense and an extra 100% defense when completely ranked up. However, it is her skill too that is what makes her very, very different from all of the other defender operators. Her skill too, counter arc, increases her attack interval, grants her an attack boost, and has her deal arts damage to three enemies when attacking, and she also gets a chance to stun the target. This starts out at a 10% chance to stun for one second, but ends up increasing to a 25% chance to stun the target. However, this skill has a downside. After the skill runs its course, Liskarm is going to be stunned for 5 seconds after the skill duration. And when Liskarm is stunned, that means her block goes to zero and enemies can just straight up leak past her. Now I know this seems like a huge detriment when using Liskarm, but really you can easily counter this by just making sure you place a guard operator or something behind your Liskarm. Maybe you've got a Lapland, maybe you were lucky enough to get a Silver Ash. Anybody with some sort of ranged attack and ability to block a couple enemies is going to make it so those five seconds are a lot more manageable otherwise. However, because of this detriment and because you know, it's going to take a lot of maneuvering in order to make that second skill work. And with Liskarm's first skill being so vanilla and a lot of other defender operators having a similar first skill, like Croissant and all that, I would not recommend pulling on this banner solely for Liskarm. She is okay, I actually use her a lot as my main defender, but personally I'm probably going to be leveling Kiora and replacing Liskarm with Kiora in the foreseeable future. I would not say she is the best defender operator to put on your team. Even though that stun can be nice, a little too much maneuvering in order to make it work. A lot better to just have a physical wall that can sit there, block enemies, do the job that they have to do super easy. However, I'm going to be straight up with you all, this second operator we have on the field is absolutely no joke, and it is Meteorite. Meteorite is a sniper style AoE damage dealing operator that's able to bring not only a ton of damage but a ton of debuff utility to your team. Meteorite's first skill, Buckshot, increases her attack AoE and deals 135% to 215% of attack physical damage. Dope. Dope. While that seems really really good, it is her second skill that is really what ends up putting in work. Her high explosive shell skill immediately launches a firebomb and it deals 180 to 300% physical attack damage to all those targets and then on top of that it shreds their defense reducing it by 130 to 330 for 10 seconds. Gang Meteorite is absolutely phenomenal and can find a place as a sniper operator in absolutely any of your teams. Meteorite, even when going up against high armored enemies where you would expect your sniper operators to sort of falter and fail and you'd have to put out a caster, you can just throw that firebomb, shred that armor, and immediately 
that armored unit doesn't matter against your wall of physical attackers. There's not really much more I can say about Meteorite. She is an absolutely excellent addition to any of your teams, absolutely worthy of any sniper slot you could give up for her. And finally, of course, we gotta talk about the big reason you're all gonna be pulling on this banner. It is Hoshiguma. Hoshiguma, phenomenal character, but can she hold up to the other defender operators we've got on the list? Let's take a look at her talents first. I know we didn't look at the talents for the last two characters, but Hoshiguma's talents are really part of what makes a lot of people set her apart from the other ones. Her tactical armor talent ends up giving her a chance to resist physical and arts damage, something that is very, very useful on absolutely any defender operator. And her special operation strategy talent increases the defense of all defenders on your team by 6 to 8%, depending on how far you've been able to promote Hoshiguma to that 6 star level. Now, Hoshiguma's skills, she's got Warpath as her very first skill, which increases her defense by 35 to 80 percent and increases her attack by 10 percent to 40 percent pretty vanilla skill here but you know it ends up putting in work her second passive skill is called thorns thorns increases her defense by 5 to 30 percent and ends up dealing 50 to 100 percent of physical damage to enemies that attack hoshiguma now remember, this is just physical damage, so if you're end up facing a squad of enemies that's a bunch of casters, this skill is actually not really going to do anything. So I would not recommend equipping that on any of those characters. It's Hoshiguma's skill 3 that ends up really setting her apart and ends up making a lot of people really enjoy using her. Her saw of strength increases her attack by 65% and her defense by 40% and it cuts all targets in the front grid of her with her shield. If you end up getting the skill up all the way, that attack boost ends up going to 140% and that defense boost ends up going to 90%. Now, should you try and pull for Hoshiguma on this banner? Well, I would say it honestly depends. If you find out your defender operators really need a boost, Hoshiguma is a fantastic addition to your team, boosting up the rest of your defender operators, making them better at their jobs, making them able to take even more damage than they could previously. However, if you find that your core defender squad is performing admirably, if you've been able to level them up to a point where they're able to do their jobs and you don't find them dying a lot, you don't really have a lot of difficulty clearing maps, then Hoshiguma really isn't going to add a lot to your squad of defenders, and I would say it would be better to sort of hold off on her, maybe wait for a different defender. You can always level up Kyora. She is a fantastic freebie defender, as I have previously mentioned. Uh, Saria and Nero, also excellent themselves, being able to drop them in a group of enemies and heal up. But those characters are very different defenders than Hoshiguma and don't provide the sort of same utility that she does. So you would be remiss if you ended up comparing them together. Just something to think about though. Overall, as far as the grand prize on this banner goes, it's definitely got to be Meteorite. If you really, really need a sniper operator, I would wholeheartedly recommend going all in to try and get Meteorite. She is absolutely fantastic. She deals a ton of AoE damage. She ends up making your physical attackers better at their jobs overall. Seriously, grand prize on this banner, who you should absolutely be rolling for over anybody else that could be on offer. It's Meteorite. But of course, I want to know what you all think about this banner breakdown, so go ahead, let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. When the banner goes up, if you've watched this video, let me know who you got. I definitely want to know how lucky you were on this banner. Maybe you got multiple six stars. Maybe you got a bunch of meteorites in a single pull. Go ahead and flex on me down in our comments section. And if you like these banner breakdowns, be sure to like the video and subscribe, because then I'll know, I'll know that this is a good idea. This is Kawaii 5 again, hoping you have a phenomenal day, and I'll see you all in our next Arknights video.